What's up guys and welcome back to the Minecraft modern tutorial. In this video I'm going to be showing you how to add your own name for a block and item and also add it in various different languages. So to do this you'll need to go to my previous videos and there should be one called preparing your mods class and you'll get all this code from it with the base forge tutorial, common proxy, client proxy and also once you've set up your own item and block then we can add the name so cause adding, your, adding a name is only a client side thing you need to go into the client proxy into the ren register render information and for example as you can see here this is register block this is and that registers it on the client and server but if we were to register it on the server the server does not actually need it so it will most probably crash because it's not rendering out any of the GUIs and the entire gameplay so what you'll have to do you'll need to go inside the client proxy and it extends common proxy so that's how it gets all of this stuff and what you'll need to do you'll need to paste in this thing called language registry and it's like the game registry it is but different because you can add languages and to do this what you'll need to do you'll need to do language registry then instance dot instance and then you'll need to add this one called add name for object so you select that and then you'll need to put a semicolon at the end and now the object to name is whatever item you're adding the name to so for, for this example I need common proxy which is the class that it's in so I need to paste that in and then you can do dot and then you choose whichever block or item you want to add the name to so this is I'm going to add it to the forge block and then here you'll need to do two speech marks and you'll need to add the which language file it's for and to get the language file what you do is you don't need to go into the minecraft.jar and you need to choose which one you want so I, I'm going to add the EN ENGB so that's for Great Britain so that's English that is and, and I speak English so you only need to do EN underscore GB capital and then the name is whatever the name's going to be in game and so for my in game I'm just going to call it forge item and you can do the same for the block I'm just going to copy all of that and what the only thing you'll have to do is for the common proxy is you'll have to do dot and then find the block and it's the same language file and then I'm going to call it forge block and if you want to add different language then you can just go ahead and copy it again you can and I'm going to do it for the forge item again or forge ah forge test what's it called I've named it wrong ah I've, it's not forge test the item it's called forge item I went wrong. and this one is forge test there we are so now that it's done that, I'm going to add a language configuration for, let's say, Welsh. So, uh, Cymraeg, which is Welsh, uh, is CY underscore GB. So we can go ahead and CY underscore GB. And then I'm not sure what it is in Welsh, but we could just make something up. <laughs> yeah nice name for Welsh and now we can go ahead and run our clients and then we can go into our single player world and it will work on multiplayer you'll have the names if we go into the decoration blocks gee why isn't that worked ah I know think I know why if I just don't language it's because if I go down English UK 
That's the only one we did it for. Forge item, there we are. Forge item. Forge block. And then we can also change it to Welsh. And we'll have our random bit for the block. Where is it? Come ride C. Uh, random name, random name. As you can see, I've got a random name, and I haven't actually done the item yet. As you can see. But as you saw, if I didn't have the right language selected, if I just I can't read well, which one is it? This one. Yep. If we go into USA, as you can see, we have no language, so we need to go and set up a default if there isn't a specific name for that language and to do this we'll have to copy the language registry dot instance again and you need to put this below all your other uh, where you're actually choosing which one it's going to be and to do this we you need to do you need to do instance dot you need to go back you need to do as name so lang language registry dot add name and then you choose the name the the item you want, so I'm going to do common proxy dot forge item, and then you can go ahead and put a string here. And I'm going to call my forge item any language. I can't spell language. There we are. And then you put semicolon. And then you can go ahead and click save and play. And then it will load up as normal. Single player. And if I go ahead, as you can see, any language, it's there. And if I go ahead and change my language to English, which has actually got something programmed for it, forge item. Forge block. So, what you can do that. So, if you can, I can do. I could go ahead and doodle translate and translate this, and add every, every single and language except for a few. And then I can go and add this at the end. And this, what this will do is just mean if there isn't, if there's a language that isn't supported, it will actually have a name instead of just being nothing. So that's going to be it for this video, guys. I hope uh, it's been informative and you've understood. And if you have, leave a like, that, that would be great and help me out. And also subscribe for more modern tutorials. I do modern tutorials daily, uh, well, if I can. And I also do snapshots, I do mod reviews, I do lots of other things. So it would be great if you subscribe and join my channel. It's really grown. So I hope you'll enjoy this, guys, and thanks for watching. Hope to see you next time. Bye.